Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You guys probably miss me. Guys, I have been feeling crappy. I can't believe that. <laughs> I can't believe that a cold knocked me out. I've had the worst cold. In my last video, I want to say it was my last video, I was complaining about an itchy throat. And guys, it just got worse from there. Um, I, I can't believe that a cold knocked me out. I was recovering great from my surgery, other than poking here and there from the tubing inside of me. Um, after speaking to Michelle Michelle Bastian, by the way, guys, she is back. She's doing videos. I'm so excited. Just got to put that up there real, out there real quick. Um, after speaking to her, um, she explained to me something the doctors did, that the tubing that's inside of me, it's it has to settle. In the meantime, it's poking me. It would get to a certain point and stab me, and, and then I was in excruciating pain. I went from thinking I had a hernia to thinking I had kidney stones to thinking I had a bladder infection to thinking I had fi my fibroids were back. When it made it to my right side, I was like, okay, I have no organs there. Because remember, they took out my, my right kidney. I said, there's no organs there, so what the heck is going on? So I called Michelle, and Michelle explained it to me. I'm like, really? The doctors couldn't tell me this? But anyway, I was okay with it. You know, I was, I was dealing with it. I was still doing my thing. But then, guys, I had a cold. I got a cold. I still have it. I actually feel better today. Um, but that thing knocked me out. I have been down for the count. I think it's been four or five days since my last video. And the mail has just been piling up. I have four entries to show you. Um, I have a haul to show you. I went out this morning. And I went to the thrift store. And I went to CVS. Now, the stuff that I bought at CVS, um, I put it away already. <laughs> I just wanted... It's, it was food and some Scott toilet paper. Um, so I wanted to give you guys the breakdown. So I went to CVS and I purchased um, some food items that were on sale. Okay. I got the Swedish fish. Swedish fish. They were on sale two for five dollars. And then I got Chips Ahoy. I got the Chunky and the original. I have to build up my snacks. I got the Chips Ahoy Chunky and the original. Those were two for six dollars. And I had about two packs of Oreos. Those were, those, were, those were two for $7. So I paid a total of $18. But in return, I got back $5, making my sale $13 for those three items. Um, so I was happy with that. So what I did was, because I used my extra care box um, number, so I used those rewards. I got a total of $5 back. I want to say it was $5. Uh, yeah, I had a, I got a total of five dollars back. So what I what I did, I um I was already at the register with all my items. So what I did is I purchased the twelve pack of Scott toilet paper. <coughs> Excuse me. I purchased the twelve pack of Scott toilet paper. It was on sale for eight ninety nine. Regular price here is thirteen forty nine. So um I went ahead and there was a dollar coupon in CVS, a dollar off Scott. Um, six six count or larger, so I used that dollar, brought it down to seven ninety nine. I used um, my five dollars. Was it five dollars? Yeah, five dollars that I had for my um, CVS pharmacy. So that brought it down um, to two ninety nine to three dollars. So then I used more coupons. I ended up spending paying a whole eleven cents. So I, I bought five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <coughs> I ended up buying because the coupons don't um separate themselves. You know, you gotta use them all, you don't you can't use them. I ended up paying a long story short, I ended up paying twelve cents for a twelve pack of toilet paper. Scott, which is the one that we really like here. So I was happy with that. And that was because um I used five coupons. I used a dollar coupon. I used two four dollar coupons. I used five dollars for my pharmacy. I had a thirty six cent coupon and I had a one penny coupon. Cause I, I bought some baby wipes, the twenty count to keep in my purse, the sensitive skin one. So I ended up paying twelve cents. So yeah, I was happy with that. So I am super happy with that. I wish I could have showed you guys the stuff, but I put everything away. The house is a sauna. The kitchen is a sauna. So I ran. I put it in the cabinet and ran out the kitchen so that's what happened with that so I also have a thrift store haul I have to build guys I do not know where my books are at 
I don't know where it is. I have no idea. My books for the kids. So I said to myself, I got to build my books up until I can find them again. But before I do that, let me show you guys what I still found. So I know I can do this if I put my mind to it. But you know what? If it's easier this way, this is how I'm going to do it. Look what I found. Recycled paper beads. So this is the equipment needed to make paper beads. And includes a specially designed tool which fits most bottles. So I would take this tool and just put it over a bottle and make my paper beads. So I'm excited about it. It only cost me 99 cents. So I'm excited about that. Have fun making paper beads for our specialty, specialty, specially designed tool. Simply insert strips of paper from newspapers or magazines into the tool and turn the handle. Your beautifully created bead is made. And it's brand new in the box, guys. So I'm excited about that. So I get to make my own beads now, my paper beads. Expect some in some fun mail. And then I found this. And I was happy because I want to make some more wreaths. And there's two of them here. And they still have the tag, as you can see right there. Guys, these were $2 for the pack. So this is a dollar each. Um, I made the wreath for my mother-in-law. And I want to make one. I still have the other thing here. I want to make one with roses. But if I can make it on this, I would love it even more. So I was happy to have found this. I was super, super, super happy. So that was that. Now, if you guys have watched my, it's been a while since I did books, but my thrift store, the books there are can, can go as low as a 25 cents, so four for a dollar. The point is to get them four. So I bought five sets of books. So that was 20 bucks. And they're all for the kids. They were all four for 99 cents. And Eli's on his way, so he'll get first dibs on books. Um, so I was excited. So this one was, this is Superman is Cooperative. Now I looked at the books to make sure that the right the, the reading, because um, Elijah can read, you know, a lot better than than Eli because Eli just started reading. He's going into the first grade, so I wanted to get books that were suitable for both of them. So I got this one, Superman Superman is cooperative. I got some of these I might not be able to show because I'm actually gifting them. <coughs> this is Step Into Reading. This was also four for ninety nine cents. It has two sticker sheets inside, which I probably sure they're gone but no some of them are gone some aren't some aren't so this one is a pizza party like that they had so many little golden books and so many old ones that I've, I haven't heard that story in a long time and this is the pokey little puppy a golden book um Barney sharing is caring that's what I always say like that one it has Paw Patrol, Itty Bitty Kitty Rescue, and I know this one's old, because we all know Paw Patrol, we all know Barney, but this was the boy with the drum, and this one was, I wonder if it'll even say it, hmm, in 1969, look at this, oh, look at that little face, oh my goodness, I grabbed it just because it was a golden book. Look at that. These will make some beautiful pages on a collage. But then again, I like the fact that the reading is simple for the kids. So I don't know, guys. I might not even tear these apart. Reading is so important to me. Education and reading are like my two major things. And these, these little golden books are just perfect for the kids reading. But the images are so cute. But no. No, okay, I have to draw the line somewhere when it comes to my crafting. And I draw the line to my my, my baby's reading. My babies need their books, so we're going to keep those right there. <coughs> this is another step into reading book. Uh, step two, it looks like. And this is Finding Dory. Dory Story. I could have grabbed... They had two of these. I should have grabbed both of them. Ah, uh, this is the one... Okay, see? See what I mean about the, the reading? I like that. They had two of these. I should have grabbed the other one. Maybe I'll go back tomorrow. We'll see. And they have, you guys remember the Magic School Bus? Ups and Downs, a, boat, a, a book about floating and sinking. I don't know about you guys, but I enjoyed watching um, the Magic School Bus. There's a lot of education on that. I think the reading on this is a little bit more advanced. So this one will be like more for like Elijah, as you can see. So that's that one. I'm going to show these last because 
that girls have a special place in my heart. Um, for the girls, the girls haven't started reading yet, of course, but I thought this would be cute. It's still a Hello Kitty book. Let's look at that one. Winnie the Pooh First Reader Pooh's Christmas Gifts. Yeah, I think I draw the line for my collages. I'm not tearing these books apart at all. I need these in my kids' lives. So I got that one. The Lion King. Now, I know I have this one. I have these um, Walt Disney books. I just can't find them. So I grabbed it anyway. It was The Lion King. I got, now, all of these are four for, four for 99 cents. So basically 25 cents each. I grabbed 101 Dalmatians. And this is another golden book. And I've never even seen this story. So I'm curious to know the copyright on this one. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, this one's not that old. 1991 not even that old almost 30 years ago <coughs> and this was called Noel I don't know what story that is never heard of it but it looks very interesting it's like a Christmas book yeah so look at those images once again this will be a little bit more advanced for Eli <coughs> there's this one DC Super Friends that looks like the old school um, <coughs> Batman and Robin. It's that one. And then these two out of these I cannot share. Mickey Mouse in the Great Lot Plot. <coughs> that one. And this one sold for 49 cents. This was back in. <laughs> 1974. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to rush through this. And this one's another superheroes one that says big heroes. So I'll let the kids go through that. Now, these right here. If you guys have been with me long enough, you know how much I love George. Curious George. I can't find that collection either. I really gotta spend some time in the basement. So I got um, Curious George Goes Camping. Got that one. Curious George Colors Eggs. I got Curious George Lemon Stand, Lemonade Stand. Got that one. Curious George Builds a Treehouse. And Curious George the Kite. And last but not least, Curious George A Winter's Nap. I love me some George. Me and George have been together for as long as I can remember. And um, yeah, that is it. I, like I said, I have two books, but that, that I'm not sharing. I actually have a special place. I ran out of cash, so I have to go back tomorrow and get the rest of the little golden books and just add them. I gotta, I gotta build, I gotta find those books. But guys, that is it. I will be back. I do have some friend mail. I have four entries. Uh, what else do I have? That's pretty much it for the day. And I have to drink some water. Love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.